okay. Although we plant patients' yeast cultures to a sab auger plate, we can see the yeast also on a regular blood, a sheep blood auger plate. So what that is, is if a doctor just orders a regular culture for bacteria, let's say somebody has a urinary tract infection, and the doctor doesn't know what the organism is causing it, he will just click on order a urine culture. When we order a urine culture, we usually just do a sheep auger blood plate, and we do a McConkie. So that way we'll get the gram-positive cocci and we'll get the gram-negative rods. But sometimes what you see on the right is what we get on our sheep blood auger, yeast. And what this is, is if you're looking at the one on the right, the sheep blood auger, this is Canada albicans growing. And what's cool about Canada albicans, and hopefully you can see this big enough to see it, um that it looks like they have feet. You see out of the white caw, creamy colonies on the sheep blood agar, these little pro projections, their little feet-like projections sticking out of the colony. And it looks a little bit, that's how we call them feet. So when we see this with the white creamy colonies, what we would quickly do is a wet prep, like you guys have done before, and we would see the buds that you saw in the first few slides when it was telling you about the little bud with the mother cell and the baby cell. You would see those little oval buds. So when we see the white creamy colony, we see the yeast bud on our wet prep, and we see these little feet projections sticking out of the colony, we can presumptively tell the doctor without doing any biochemical tests that it's Candida albicans. It is the only yeast out of all the hundreds of yeasts that will have these feet projections, so it's pretty cool. So on the left is how it will look on the sap plate, nice and creamy white, and on the right, the sheep blood auger plate, you would see the feet. Sorry if you can hear my dog, but the delivery guy just came to deliver a pizza. I'm starving.